Welcome to my lecture online. Here's a fairly classical example of how to use a related rates type of problem. We have two cars that are approaching the same point. This car traveling at 40 kilometers per hour is four kilometers away from this point. This car traveling upward or northward at 50 kilometers per hour is three kilometers away from this point. The distance between them here, let's call that Z at this moment in time. And the question is, when they're this far away from this point and they're traveling this fast, how fast is the distance between them changing? How fast are they approaching along the line here at Z? Well, the way to do that is to find a relationship between X, Y, and Z. And since this is a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem. We can therefore say that X squared plus Y squared is equal to Z squared. And then we have to realize that this is really dx dt. We can say dx dt is equal to 40 kilometers per hour. It's the rate of change in the x direction. And this can be expressed as dy dt, the rate of change in the y direction with respect to time. And then all we have to do is find dz dt using this equation. In other words, we're going to find that by taking the derivative with respect to time of both sides of the equation. So the ddt of the left side of the equation is equal to the ddt of the right side of the equation. So on the left side, we end up with 2x times dx dt plus 2y times dy dt is equal to 2z times dz dt. And right away we realize that we can divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of all the 2's. And then we have to solve this equation for dz dt, which means that dz dt can be expressed as the left side, which is x times dx dt plus y times dy dt, and all divided by the coefficient in front of dz dt, which is z. Now notice we're given both x and y. We're given dx dt and dy dt, we just don't know yet what z is equal to. So to find dz dt, we have to know what the value of z is. All right, let's go find that. Again, by using this equation right here, we can write that z is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So z is equal to the square root of x, which is 4, plus y, which is 5, both of them squared. Oh, no, not 5, it's 3. And so therefore, z is equal to the square root of 16 plus 9, which is the square root of 25, or z equals 5. So now we know everything. Now we're ready to calculate this. So this is equal to x, which is 4, times dx dt, which is 40 plus y, which is 3, times dy dt, which is 50, all divided by z, which at this point is equal to 5. So this is equal to 160 plus 150 divided by 5, which is equal to 310 divided by 5, which is 62. Now, unit-wise, notice that everything was expressed in terms of kilometers and kilometers per hour. And so the ZDT is 62 kilometers per hour. Now notice that we ended up with a positive value. So the answer is, well, we know that they're approaching one another, so the change in Z is actually negative. But somehow we end up with a positive value. Now, if we had turned the problem around, if we had taken this car, and put it up there and made it go this way, then we would have ended up with a negative dy dt, and then we end up with a negative value for dz dt. So in this case, it really depends how the problem is drawn, and the negative can simply be deducted from the point saying that the distance is actually diminishing, and so therefore dz dt should be a negative quantity. Or you could simply state that they're approaching one another at a speed of 62 kilometers per hour that it doesn't matter, the negative sign is diminished because of the relationship here between the x, the y, and the z. That's how it's done.